Hello, if you're joining us on the replay, feel free as always to go ahead and tap on the screen to give some hearts. For those of you joining now just joining me live, I am Mike Man, the Frugal Web Guy. Let me actually close down my Facebook page here. Mike Man, the Frugal Web Guy, and today we are going to be talking about importing your posts, importing your pages from WordPress.com into your WordPress.org website. Keep in mind that they are the same, but they are different. WordPress.com is that uh, hosted WordPress platform, and WordPress.org is your self-hosted WordPress. That is WordPress on your blue ho on Bluehost, GoDaddy, um, one in one, any of those web hosts out there. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I have open my uh, test WordPress.com site here. Um, so I'm going to actually jump into the back end. So when you're looking at the back end for your for a WordPress.com website, you're going to notice something really interesting. Um, right here on the, in their in their um, custom menu system, there's no way to actually go ahead. Yes, wp.org is definitely far better than uh, wp.com um, because of the fact that you have uh, far greater control over your website. You can change out any of, using any of the free themes that are available on WordPress.org as well as paid themes. Um, and you can also add in plugins. So if you wanted to add in an online store, if you wanted to add in a calendar, if you wanted to add in a, in a, a list of, of, of upcoming events, you can actually do that with WordPress.org. WordPress.com is nice if you don't, if you're not trying to build a website to make money, it's just something personal branding, it might be okay. But if you're doing a business site, definitely .org, self-hosting WordPress. Okay, so here on the back end of WordPress.com, you're going to have to actually figure out what you're doing here. And that, of course, is to use the WP Admin uh, option here. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to open up our um, famous WordPress.org style um, setup here so that we can actually go under Tools and Export. And this will actually allow us to be able to um, export out what we want and of course they give you an option here for $129 they can actually guide you through the transfer um, but believe it or not for the most part you're really just going to need to use the, the free be able to use the free option here so I'm just going to click start export here and then of course this brings up the screen to give me an option I can choose to cho to, to, to pull out all of my content or I can choose to pull out just my posts, my pages or my feedback I'm just going to go ahead and do all content so that I can download that file. And that's going to give me this XML file, which is really kind of cool because you're going to be able to actually import this directly into your WordPress.org um, website. Keep in mind, hey Sean, uh, keep in mind that of course this is just pulling in the content. This is not pulling in your theme so that you are going to have to set up a theme on your new site if you don't already have one set up. So I'm just going to click OK. And I'm just going to plop this out here on the desktop and click save. So now I've actually exported out the few um, blog posts and pages that I have over here. Not a whole lot. I have a couple of test posts that I just threw in there. So I have some images here. Um, sorry if that's kind of hard to see. I have some images there. This is just a, a, a weird image that I took when I my last visit into Los Angeles. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and pull this in over here on my test website. Um, a couple of things to keep in mind that when you are trying to import this into a WordPress.org website is that if this is your first time doing so, you will have to um, install the WordPress.org um, import plugin. Um, but that will actually present itself when you... Um, go down over here and just click import it'll present itself if it's not already installed and activated so once you've installed and activated it it will give you the option to choose where the file is and of course I'm gonna go